and waiting with divine letters to bring you to a daily winning position in life, empowering your spirit with divine realities, written by Pastor Bowale Abrahams. And today we're reading and sharing God's word with you from the fourth day of August, 2018, and the title is Discerning Pseudo Faith. Our scripture is from 2 Timothy 1 5. When I call to remembrance the unfeigned faith that is in thee, which dwelt first in thy grandmother Lois and thy mother Eunice, and I'm persuaded that in thee also. A pastor starts this exciting one by saying, Though there's no such thing as a believer being a victim of faith, nevertheless, there is absolute surety of a believer being a victim of a pseudo faith. A Paul in our text affirmed that Timothy, his son in ministry, expressed so greatly such a thing as the real non phony faith. Now, one of the interesting things about our faith, our faith work in God, is to be able to differentiate between what is fake and what is actually real. Yes. Let's continue. Notice if Paul said that the faith observed in the life of Timothy was unfeigned, it automatically suggests the possibility of possessing a feigned faith. Mm -hmm. For how many claim to walk in faith, but we must continually examine our faith in whom, in him in whom we have to do. And so how do we differentiate between the fake faith and the real faith in God? It's for us to examine our faith in God's word. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Paul asked, For if for what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Pastor continues by saying, Paul submitted that despite the views of many Christ professing Jews about faith, mm. their opinions and conclusions about faith is faith. Wow. They did not have the results of what they claimed they believed from God. Mm. Notice it says, For what if some did mm -hmm. not believe? Mm. Today, Many claim they have a faith that does not work, mm. whereas it is only unbelief mm -hmm. when it does not deliver our desires. God cannot be faulted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So unbelief will fail you, mm -hmm. but faith will definitely be deliver God's promises to you. Hallelujah. God. Because God is not a liar or a descendant of Adam that may need to repent. Yes. The last day shall no doubt be characterized by many claims of believing God and the so-called experiential disappointment mm. where faith is concerned. Mm. Paul, however, said, unbelief makes faith ineffective. Wow. As long as there's unbelief, yes. your faith is ineffective. Mm -hmm. Just start again, say, Lord, I'm sorry, okay, I doubted you, mm -hmm. and I want to please you because it takes faith to please, please God. God. Hallelujah. God. There is no such thing as ineffectiveness of faith. Please God. Or such as being a victim mm. of faith. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Praying or acting in unbelief is an ineffective posture. Only petitions backed up with backed up with unfeigned real faith can deliver God's promises. So Hallelujah. Mm. Paul wondered, shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> there are many today whose faith is somewhat anchored to people's opinion about faith. Yes. They can't seem to reconcile the Bible's faith and their unbelief, which is doomed to fail, and they are unfortunately disappointed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I desire somebody else's testimony, but I cannot, um, my faith cannot be anchored to their faith yes, or yes. to their result for me to, to for me to see what they have seen. Yes. It has to be based on the word Hallelujah. of God. Hallelujah. They're unfortunately disappointed. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's really kind of the story of many people today, disappointment. And that's why they say that, you know, it doesn't work. I released faith for mm -hmm. something and I didn't get it. Well, maybe my faith doesn't work, but faith always works. Always works. Yeah. But the second interesting thing about faith is whose responsibility is it to actually, you know, stand where faith is concerned. Pastor yeah, says it is our res reasonable responsibility Hallelujah. to hold God to his word mm. from a position of unfeigned mm. faith, not a position of philosophies mm. of what worked for you or worked for me, then it can work for you. Like you said, people yeah. look at people's testimonies yeah. and they wonder, wow, if this person has gotten all these things by faith, it's going to work for me. <laughs> That's putting your faith in his testimony, not in God. Because his journey is different. Hallelujah. True. You don't know what trials you're going through. You don't know how you had to believe God, yeah. confess God's word, 
prayed even when it seemed like it was a no you kept believing god so if you put your trust in someone else's testimony then that's not fit so it's a reasonable responsibility what you believe what scripture what revelation so what do you believe what scripture is backing up what you believe and what revelation about that scripture because sometimes we believe god for something search the scriptures pick a word add it together and say that's fake yeah. <laughs> that is fake but get a revelation from god Hallelujah. pray about it Hallelujah. let god tell you things such yes. that in the days of trials you are rejoicing and screaming. People, people are wondering what is going on with you. What's going on yeah. with you? Everything has fallen. Just give up. But you are screaming and rejoicing because you know what God told you about what you believe Him for. Is it God's will for you, Pastor asked? Mm. So a living faith must answer these questions. Yes. Now Paul warned the Corinthians in Second Corinthians thirteen five. He says, "Examine yourselves, whether ye be in faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves? How?" Christ is in you, except ye be reprobate. So, Paul is charging us to examine ourselves. And this is very, very key because it says, know, know ye not your own selves that how that Christ, Jesus Christ, is in, in you. you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You carry the living word Hallelujah. in you daily. So, Hallelujah. you can examine yourself yes. daily and say, okay, I'm trusting God for this. Hmm. God told me it's going to happen 2018. Hasn't happened yet. God cannot be faulted, right? No. Let me examine. Where did I go wrong? Did unbelief seep in? Did I forget to do something? I need to check my faith. That is what Paul is telling us to do. So, Pastor says, let today be the day of examining what you believe. Is it faith? Is it phony? Why should God be the one to blame when our petition ends in disappointment? And not what we claim to be faith that was not faith in the first place. So, God cannot be faulted. God cannot be blamed. If it ends in disappointment, it's not a time to cry and say, I trusted God, I prayed, I worshiped, I go to church, I serve God. Yes, those things are, that's your life as a believer. You need to serve God. But that doesn't mean that that is how, that is the only way we can please God. The Bible says without faith, it is impossible. impossible to please God. So serve God with faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Worship God with faith yes. so that your faith can please God. Glory to God. And it says, I expect you to win. Glory to God, and I expect to win. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Our remember word for today is real faith must pass the test of real promises mm. and will of the Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's take this confession together. Sure. I have the faith of God. I have the faith of in God me. in me. I daily examine what I believe. I daily examine what I believe. I refuse to be a victim. I refuse to be a victim of phony faith. Of phony faith. I, the will of the Father, the will of the Father, is revealed into me. Is revealed into me, and I boldly believe. And I boldly believe. Declare, declare, and receive, and receive God's plan, God's plan for my life, for my life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You can meditate further on Joshua chapter twenty-four, verse fourteen to fifteen, and continue with the yearly Bible reading plan on Ezekiel chapter forty-three to forty-eight. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for joining us. We had a, you know, an exciting, interesting time here. Mm -hmm. We want you to join us again next time for another wonderful episode. Till then, God bless you and bye. bye.